Rockstar Games have just repeated themselves doing something they did right before the initial GTA 6 announcement. So does that mean something's right around the corner? We're going to be talking about all of that in this video today and a whole lot more. And what we're talking about today is Rockstar Games' Instagram page. It was actually just noticed that Rockstar have once again cleared out their entire page. And so what they've done is they have deleted all posts from December to April, except for anything surrounding GTA 6 or the Chop Shop D. DLC for GTA Online. And I'm not sure when they did this, but it's only now just been noticed by fans. So again, if you go to their page now, you'll see that they only have 14 posts. They are closing in on 13 million followers and are following 999 people exactly. And again, you guys can see there that if it doesn't have anything to do with GTA 6, or Grand Theft Auto Online's latest update, it hasn't been posted on there. And there's been a lot of stuff that has happened in between. I mean, it's been five months since December was here and Rockstar made their original post surrounding GTA 6 arriving. So there's definitely been a lot more than just 14 things. So I'm not sure this means anything significant, but this is unusual behavior that they had never done before prior to the GTA 6 announcement. And so many fans are believing, okay, this is really weird. They wouldn't do this for nothing. They've got to be cooking up something. And maybe this is just weird maintenance that Rockstar is going to do every now and then on their Instagram page. So they don't have, you know, thousands of different posts and they only have the most up-to-date relevant information, but it is still unusual. Usual. And on the other side of the coin, it wouldn't surprise me if this is indeed preparation for an announcement of some sort. So whether this is just Rockstar's new routine or if this indeed is preparation for something, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. At least fortunately for us, it doesn't look like we're going to have to wait very long to see what Rockstar might be up to because everyone has been speculating that we will hear something from them shortly as we know that their parent company, Take-Two Interactive, is set to have their earnings call on May 16th at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And we know that traditionally, going all the way back to GTA 5, Rockstar usually announces big updates or significant information right before these earnings calls. It happened with GTA 5, it happened with Red Dead Redemption 2, and it even happened with GTA 6. Right before Take-Two Interactive's earnings call, that's when Rockstar put out the message saying, hey, we're going to be releasing the trailer for GTA 6 coming in early early December. So they use this opportunity as a sort of collaboration with their parent company, Take-Two Interactive, to make big time announcements. It improves the stock price. It's a win-win situation all the way around. Now, what that information we're going to get is still unknown. A lot of people are obviously asking for the second trailer, but I don't believe we're gonna get two trailers back to back. That's not how Rockstar did things with GTA 5, nor is it how they did things with Red Dead Redemption 2. So we're probably gonna get other marketing things before the second trailer. Think more details about the game or screenshots or information on when the game is gonna be releasing or if there is going to be a delay it's likely going to be something like that versus a second trailer but speaking of the very first trailer one thing that was pointed out it's amazing that we're still finding all this crazy information even though it's been five months since the trailer came out is this scene right here notice how the lady in blue avoids running into the guy by putting her right foot across her left foot to slightly adjust her path it's such a small but seamless animation. It's something that's really interesting. And this was spotted on the GTA 6 subreddit, and this is Rockstar's motion matching at work. And if you guys are wondering what that is, it's essentially a system where developers from Rockstar or any video game company uh, build up a massive library of animations that's done via motion capture, and then they build a system that can splice together animations from that library to create seamless and natural looking animations for whatever the player is doing like we would do in real life. So if an NPC is about to collide with something on the floor, they can pull an animation that pulls their leg over to adjust their path. So that and other scenarios that they can include essentially allows them to increase the quality of animations across the entire game with way more variety. And given the large amounts of animations that Rockstar used to make their games, I can only imagine that GTA 
6 is going to have some crazy good animations during gameplay. And honestly, Rockstar's parent company, Take-Two Interactive, could do with them providing some good news surrounding GTA 6. If you guys remember last month, Take-Two announced it was rationalizing its pipeline by cutting hundreds of jobs and canceling $140 million worth of in-development projects. Well, just the other day, it actually moved ahead with shutting down the studios behind Kerbal Space Program 2 and Ali Ali World, according to Bloomberg. And this is what Bloomberg's article said, Take-Two Interactive shuts down two game studios, Seattle's Intercept Games and London's Roll7 will be closed. And that was posted by Jason Schreer, who has done lots of reporting on both Take-Two Interactive, Rockstar Games, and GTA 6. Anytime you hear his name mentioned, you know that he is reputable and his reporting is accurate. So in an employment notice filed in Washington state today, it was actually revealed that Take-Two was planning to lay off 70 people in Seattle where Intercept Games, maker of Kerbal Space Program 2 is based, and also to lay off staff at Roll7 in London. So Grand Theft Auto 6's publisher has not had a whole lot of good news over the last couple of weeks and months. So honestly, they could do for something good to talk about because they will be forced to answer those questions on that call. So hopefully either right around that call or during that call, we're able to get some good news surrounding GTA 6. For both fans sakes and the sake of Take-Two Interactive, hopefully Rockstar Games is able to provide something positive to talk about. But that's all I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know what you think about Rockstar Games and their mysterious Instagram account change. Do you think this is just general maintenance? or do you think something new is coming up on the horizon? What do you think of the incredible detail from the GTA 6 trailer and the sort of bad news surrounding Rockstar Games' parent company, but how it could lead to them promoting Grand Theft Auto 6 news soon? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. And I know I say this at the end of several of my videos, but please feel free to reach out to me on my Facebook page or over on my X account if you really want to get in touch with me. The YouTube comment section can oftentimes be overwhelming and sometimes doesn't even work where the comments you write might not even appear. So I know it's a little bit of an extra step, but those links are in the description if you guys are interested. And I'll also leave links in the description description to take to interactives earnings call so that you can follow along with that when it happens in just a few short weeks some exciting stuff could be coming up soon if you guys did go and enjoy this video though a like rating would of course be awesome and be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new you want to stay up to date on all the gta 6 videos that i'll be doing here on my channel and be sure to ring that notification bell as well sometimes youtube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive but of course as always guys thank you all so much for watching Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.